Hi. So, if you saw the thumbnail, you know that I'm going to be talking about, at the end anyway, these new Lay's cheddar bacon mac and cheese potato chips. I don't know why I keep putting myself through this, but I keep seeing new flavors of stuff that I like. So, I'm going to be trying that. But I wanted to talk about something else first. You know, this is an interesting week. I mean, on Sunday, we had the Cleveland Cavaliers finally winning a championship in some sport after 52 years. Then LeBron James was the man. There's just nothing you can say about it. I mean, LeBron James basically took this team, put it on his shoulders, and got that win. And yeah, there's some people saying, well, Kyrie Irving, you know, scored 41 the first time that LeBron did. Yes, he did. He scored 23 in the second game. He scored 26 in the third game. However, he didn't get 15 rebounds. He didn't block four shots. I mean, you know, he, he did well. I'm not putting him down at all, but LeBron James took this team, and he got that championship. Now, here's the deal, because I wrote about this. You never awaken the sleeping giants. That was what my blog post was about. You probably see the link up here to it. You know, people were saying all kind of stuff about this guy, and I don't know why. It's like they have been beating up on this poor guy ever since he got into the NBA, even when he was like 18 and 19 years old. And I've never really understood that. You know, these are team sports. This isn't like he's playing golf or tennis or, you know, wrestling or something like that where, you know, it's all just on him. It's a team sport. And you look at last year. I mean, he got them into the finals pretty much on his own. He lost, uh, you know, some of the good players on his team. And yet they still won two games last year before losing. And so here they were this year, and they're looking at this. And they look back at the Miami team. And they said, well, he only won two championships out of four. Think about this. There are a ton of NBA players who played 15 to 20 years and never made it to the finals. There's a few of them in history who never made it to the playoffs. So this is remarkable. He made it six straight years. But he heard all those people talking about, well, he's lost a step. Well, maybe he's not the best player anymore and all this other kind of mess. You never awaken those sleeping giants. You, you just don't do it. And from his perspective, you don't let other people's doubts keep you from doing the best you can. And it's sweet justice when you get to shut all those people up. But, you know, you have to find it in yourself, whether you use the motivation from someone else and say, you know what, that's just it. I'm going to create something. I'm going to be great. Or whether you need to read something or listen to something or whatever, something that builds you up so that you have the strength. You know, one of the things I try to do with my blog when I talk about different types of things is I try to say, look here, I'm motivating myself. This is one of the things I do. I'd love you all to come along with me. If you can find some way of motivating yourself through me, Let's do it. You know, I have this dream where I say I want $10 million in the bank, which I do. <laughs> I want $10 million in the bank. At that point, I feel like I've really achieved something. But it doesn't mean that everyone can't shoot for $10 million in the bank. And you know what? If I only end up with $1 million sitting in the bank, I'm not going to cry. If I end up with $500,000 that's sitting in the bank doing pretty clear at my age, you know what? I'm going to be a happy guy. If I invest that, I can live off of that for the rest of my life. I'll be doing well. You know, comfortable. You can't overdo it. But I'll be living pretty well. And I say that kind of thing because I'm putting this one out today. And then tomorrow, I'm going to have a different video on my other channel as I will be celebrating my actual 15th year working for myself. Uh, I started June 24th, 2001 when I went downtown Syracuse and got my business license. I was incorporated in 2007. So I am officially president and CEO of my organization. It's called T.T. Mitchell Consulting Incorporated. And it's been a very up and down 15 years. I'm not going to lie to you. I've had some really, really good years and I've had some really, really bad years. But you know what? 15 years later, I'm here. And one of the weird things is I didn't have a lot of people who doubted that I could do something, but there were a lot of people who thought, and you know, this is not picking on them whatsoever, but they thought I would have more difficulties being a black man trying to work in healthcare. And it ain't easy. I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's sometimes hard to get in. But when I get in and I can show people what I do and how I can help them benefit on things, then things work out pretty well. Um, same with leadership, same with diversity. And 
over this past years, you know, this year, for instance, is my 10th year of actual blogging. I think it's 10 years. It may even be 11. You know what? I got to figure that out. But it's been a long time of blogging. And, you know, I put this stuff out and I do these videos. I've been doing these videos, I think, since 2009, 2010. I'm not exactly sure. But you keep doing it. And you find your reason to motivate yourself so that you can put these things out there because you just never know. I mean, there's a video I did that I never thought anyone was really ever going to watch that has over 20,000 views. Are you kidding? <laughs> I mean, I had to fuss about something, so it wasn't necessarily a positive uh, day when I did it, but you just never know. And, you know, you have to find reasons to do things. Now, I know a lot of people, you get down. Trust me, I understand this. You can get beaten up. I mean, over the course of 15 years, I've been beaten up a heck of a lot of times. You, you just feel defeated and you feel like it's, you're not worthy and there's things you can't do. But if you don't try, then you definitely can't do anything. So that's kind of what this video is about today. You know, this is a motivational video. I, I do these, uh, you know, here and there uh, every once in a while because I think we all need to remember this. This is how we, you know, can make successes, successes of ourselves. Well, that's hard to say sometimes. But that's, you know, what we do. So if you are trying to blog, stick with it. If you're trying to be good in social media, do that. If you're working in a factory, you know what? Learn everything you can so that you can move into a different position that pays better and has a little bit more status. If you're working in a hospital, try to learn everything you can about the job you do so that you can move up. No matter what it is you're doing, whether you're working for yourself or you're working for someone else, whether you're in college, whether you're in high school, I'm not going to talk about those other grades because I don't remember any of that stuff right now, but always try to remember that you really can do it. Yes, it's going to take some effort. It's never going to be easy, but if other people have done it, there's nothing saying you can't. So that's what I'm about today, except now I'm about these. And if you remember, last time I did something about some wise potato chips that I thought would be really good, and it was like cheeseburger flavored, and they were way too salty. But I looked at the sodium content this time, and it's only 140 milligrams per serving. So this is less salt. Let's see what this is all about. <sighs> smells okay. So like I said, this is cheddar bacon mac and cheese by Lay's. It's not bad. Not great. But it's not bad. So I can probably eat these. Most probably, I may not buy them again. But you know what? It's worth taking a shot. Cheddar bacon mac and cheese. Take your shot. That's not so bad. Of course, now it's making me want to go and mix some macaroni and cheese and put some bacon in it. That could happen. Anyway, my name is Mitch Mitchell. I hope y'all have a wonderful week and wonderful year, and a wonderful life. Remember, you can do it. You have to believe in yourself. Y'all take care.